And by the way, I'm Randy Bachman. I'm Tal. Welcome to our Friday Night Train Wreck. We are back. Can I just keep this rolling? We are rolling. Hope We're everyone's st- doing all right out there. We are. And people ask me how I'm doing, how are we, Tal's doing. Uh, most musicians travel a lot. Most of your life, I've been traveling since I was about 18. And this is a really special time to be at home and sleep in your own bed every night. And people say, how are you dealing with this? I'm going, it's fantastic. So most musicians I know are um, loving being at home and writing songs and doing albums. I know Springsteen did a new album. Uh, Many, many, uh, Taylor Swift did a new album. Paul McCartney's done a new album. We're working on an album. Everybody's like having time to work on an album that's kind of leisurely. And we're having the time of our life. You know what I've been working on? Um, I've been working on eating a lot of DQ sandwiches up until a week ago. I've never been as fat or as weak as I am right now. So now I'm working on uh, regaining my fitness. Okay, I'm, I'm joining you, okay? Yeah. This is uh, a challenge. A challenge. To, okay, well, we're going to be doing sprinting and... No more DQ sandwiches. And stuff. Okay. The ones that are in the freezer will stay in the freezer. Yeah. You'll count them, you know, okay, I've never, Coco? I've never even seen Coco eat one of those things. Have you? She eats them in the dark when we're asleep. She sneaks yeah. down there. No, that's you I get up and the box is empty. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? We hope you, because we are, in a way, in, in, taking advantage of this, and we hope you're having the time of your life. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of the test and don't ask why It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time Take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos of memories and death came on the trial And for what it's worth it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life So uh, Dad and I were chatting about, well, you know, we've played all kinds of songs on these things. We've done hundreds of songs. We've with, never played it in our life. With, songs. I think, only one or two accidental repeats, which I'm excited about. Yeah, those are it's like a challenge every week, yeah. you know, to try to pick songs that people would kind of know that, you know, we sort of know that, um, but that we haven't played. I mean, we've got to be, what is this, show 33 or something? So that if we we're averaging 10 songs a show. It's like three hundred and something. Okay. So anyway, but we were so we were talking about because we've written, you know, we've played all these awesome songs, or whatever, from you know the last forty years, or whatever. And some have fifteen chords. Yeah, or some of them are chords. very complicated, like that Olivia Newton John one we did. Magic was that was really yeah. Interesting. And same with some Billy Joel stuff. It's crazy. But yes, but um, 
we wanted to actually do a little medley of one chord songs or almost one chord songs. So all you out there who are trying to play along, you can play along. We might even train wreck these one chord songs. That really takes talent. Now I have a I have a great friend. And yeah. one time he said, um, do you have any advice after you? He'd, he'd play me a bunch of his songs. Yeah. And he said, do you have any advice for my songwriting? And I said, I said, y your songs are always too complicated. There's like a zillion chords and anything. So all you all I want you to do as an exercise is just write me a song that has no more than three chords. And he couldn't do it. Wow. He couldn't do it. So good tip for songwriters. Challenge yourself. So name this guy. Who is no, this no, guy? No, no, no. <laughs> you know. But anyway, so this is not three. This is pretty much one chord. But the thing about these one chord songs is there's a section with fast lyrics and then long lyrics. So that separates the verse and the chorus. Or else it's long lyrics for the verse and fast ones for the chorus. So you'll notice that how it distinguishes it in this one chord thing, right? All right. You're going to lead off? Sure. Okay. All right, let's try it. We're going to live in E right now if you're playing along at home. This is Aretha Franklin, Chain of Fools. For five long years, I thought you were my man. But I found out, well, I'm just a link in your chain. Ooh, you got me where you want me. I ain't nothing but your fool. Just a little boy 
for my soul. Man lies about it. Some man cries about it. Some man even die for it. Yeah. 
Six South down to Liverpool Where they play the West Coast sound Sailor Sam, you came from Birmingham But he never will be found Doing fine when a London sign Beats me like a long lost friend yes. Mr. Motor, won't you check her
that's enough for Harry Nelson. Got another one? Could be a spoonful of diamonds. Oh, we already did that one. Is that? I think we ran out of one chord we song. Well, there's a zillion, but oh, what man. the heck? Let's do. Uh, oh, let's do a couple of questions. Sure. Good. Wow. You know, I never really appreciated the value of switching to a second chord until that medley. Um, Pat, Pat Brand says, hey, we lost another influential musician from the 60s this week, Spencer Davis. I don't remember if we read this one or not. Um, no. That group had some great songs. How about doing one of them? Randy, did you ever meet him or the great singer from the band Steve Winwood? I met uh, the whole band many times, Spencer Davis' group, which was Muff Winwood with Steve's brother on bass. And they had many hits in England before they had their hits here. Uh, way back in the early Guess Who, I was a fan of theirs. They had a song called Keep On Running." Somebody Help Me. And then out came... Oh, yeah. One chord song. Now it changes. Out came Give Me Some Lovin'. Yeah, and I'm a man. I uh, did many gigs with Spencer Davis. His brother, Muff Win uh, Steve Winwood, was a great singer, fabulous. I've done shows with Jesus Steve. Win I've done shows with just Steve Winwood himself, and many with the Spencer Davis group. Steve Winwood's brother played bass. His name was Muff Winwood, and he left the band uh, because he had an opportunity to get a real job. And your father's always saying, "Get a real job, son." So Muff Winwood's big discovery. Not my dad. <laughs> no, but my dad. Muffin was Big Discovery was a tape from a guy named Mark, and this band was called Dire Straits. So Muff Winwood actually produced really? the first Dire Straits album. He was the A&R man for mm. Columbia in London, and he produced the Dire Straits album with the famous... Uh, cool. With that Salt and swing. swing. And Spencer Davis played a great, great guitar, a, uh, a Harmony Royce Smack guitar that nobody thought was that cool. And lately, it's really cool because it's got those little pickups. And I bought a brand new one from a guy down in uh, Mississippi in the States. Brand new. He owned, his dad owned a music store, mm. and he found a bunch of them brand new. So I got a brand new Spencer Davis, basically a silver toner harmony guitar. Mm. It's a little thin thing like a Les Paul, and they're, they're just fabulous. And we will do one on another show. We're not ready for it It's now, interesting though. how some people can get really uncool guitars, and then they, make they it just cool. make them cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <sighs> I mean, think about in the 70s up until 19... I think Van Halen 1 came out in 78. And if you were a rock guitarist, you had to play pretty much a Fender or a Gibson. Right. I mean, I don't even... I can't even... Other than maybe Rick Nielsen, because he always had his own crazy striped guitars. Right. And then Ed Van Halen came out with his customized... Red, white, and black. And he was always tinkering, right? It was yeah. the Charvel, Jackson things. And then eventually it was Kramer. But he made those brands cool. Okay. How you doing, Coco? Good, thank you. Yeah, tell us about that fur you got on. Oh, on this one. Uh, it's from England. I think we went to market or something, didn't we? Some English fox? I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, I'm sure it's fake, everybody. Don't write us letters. Um, we found it in a second hat shop. Yeah. Okay. You heard about the fox hat, though, right? No. Oh. It's a joke. Oh, okay. Where the queen says the lady die, wear the fox hat. And what? She said, I'm going to Victoria. And she said, what should I wear? And she said, wear the fox hat. Okay. okay. That's the queen. <laughs> <laughs> You've had to think that over and say it a few times. Okay, Michelle Dubow says, a bit late for a question, but I, okay. Have you ever included That's Okay in your live set list? That's okay? Didn't who's, we? We did that Who's one. that by? Isn't well, that that... Didn't we do oh, that are you kidding? What, what was how do that? you know that song? Oh, how what, do you what, know it? Because we you work on it, it together. But, but let me tell you why the cops came by. What, 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 what is that song though? I can't remember. It was so uh, a band ago. called Hardship Post oh. recorded a song of mine. I think they did "Rock Is My Life." Mm. They wanted me to record them, so I went and recorded with them. And then I got to play on that song, That's Okay, which I totally forgot about. I've got to dig it up. Yeah. And I played a six-string bass, and it remember, distorted, and you were helping me produce it, and you were yeah. playing drum. Hey, that's great. Who sent that in? 
A guy named Michelle Dubot. Wow. Okay, Chet Edwards says, did the guess who... I can't remember if we asked this one either. We're just catching up with some things. Chet Edwards says, did the guess who ever cross paths with Sly and the Family Stone? Just curious. I read where they played at the Strawberry Fields Festival, Ontario, 1970. Yes, we did many gigs with Sly and the Family Stone. One of them was the Seattle Pop Festival, and three ones, three after that. And we should have done their song because it's all one chord. Thank you for letting me be myself again. Another one chord song. I wanna thank you for letting me be myself again. How about this one? Go a bit faster. Bum 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 Chord band did a lot of show with Sly and the Family Stone, and what was amazing is what you saw them wear on stage is exactly what they wore in the airports and stuff. Yeah, I bet. Like leopard skin with feathered hats and like yeah. diamonds and jewels and leather. And <laughs> the whole up. band dressed up. They wow. they had a great time dressing. It was like Halloween every time. How much? Sly. How much fun did these people have? They had a lot of fun because they just got on stage and jammed. They're almost like war. They got a riff and they just played it for like ten minutes. Everybody got in a trance. <laughs> And sang like I mean, War was very similar. They um, do a hook. And, and, uh, it, well, it's a different kind of band, but um, you really get that sense, uh, you know, like Earth, Wind, and Fire, when you watch yeah. those old videos, that, that these people had a lot of fun. That was back when people could still have fun. <laughs> More um, than four people in a room? Yeah. Yes. Um, do you remember pop festivals and when they would have 15 or 20 or 30,000 people together in a field? Yes. Yes. The vibe was incredible. Yeah, it's time for a rock and roll revolution. And we just to see them. John Schubert says, have either of you crossed paths with Sass Jordan? And if so, any details? Uh, For those of you who don't know, Sass Jordan is a Canadian singer. And a fantastic Canadian singer. I did a show with her last year. She's one of my favorite singers, and she's a really cool-looking, cool lady of rock and roll. She's like Canada's... Canada's Rod Stewart, I I hate to say that, but she's got an incredible husky voice like him. She's a great rock singer, and her husband sings, dare I say it, in the Guess Who. Really? Yes. In the new Guess Who. Mm. That is still on the road. I believe his name is Daryl. I can look it up. Why don't we do one of your songs? Okay. Okay. Uh, We just... uh, Um... Kind of doing some jazzy version. We're into like jazz and bossa nova and gypsy king stuff. So we took this song of mine and see if you recognize it. Sing along. I should laugh, but I cry because your love. Passed me by, you took me by surprise, didn't realize you were laughing. Time goes slowly, what carries on, slow down, but the, the last years have come and gone. You took me by surprise, didn't realize you were laughing. Laughing, cause you do it.
Does your love pass me by? You took me by surprise. Didn't realize you were laughing. Time moves slowly, but carries on. Now the best years have come and gone. You took me by surprise. That to Mr. Burton Cummings, who I wrote that with. He sang it when he was about 19, and he luckily is not in the USA. He is in the Jaws, we call it. He's living in Moose Jaw and very happy. Hi, Bert. We had a couple of guys ask if you watch Burton's Facebook. Things. Yeah, I've seen some of them. Yeah, he's doing the same thing we are. He's in his little music room in his house and with a piano, and he uh, talks about just like us. He talks about stuff and plays. Songs. Yeah. Um, should we do... I'm trying to put this thing on. Want Explain to what this? that is. I think they put it on wrong. Um, what, upside this? down? Oh, no, this is right. <laughs> okay, well, this is this is a little contraption that I found at the music shop, Guitars Plus in Victoria, British Columbia. And it's it's supposed to be a slide that you can kind of get in and out of the way right. while you're playing. Because Play the problem is you jam a, you know, of course, a metal or a glass slide on your finger. You can't use that finger to fret chords. So this thing is supposed to be the ingenious thing. So Okay, you ready to try it well, and see how genius it is? <sighs> yeah, I mean, the contraption's pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to play it. Oh, I should play this thing. Oh, yeah, I can, I can tell what this is. Also, about... Um, Maybe 10 years ago, we lived on Salt Spring Island, lived on Salt Spring Island. They have a little place there called uh, Art Spring, a little theater that holds maybe 280 people, maybe 300 people if they're all jammed in. And I see that one Saturday night, Dick Dale is playing there. Dickie Dick Dale, the, the king, surf king. king of surf guitar, and I can't believe it. So I go there to see the show. Of course, it's sold out. He did a show in the afternoon also because the Saturday night one sold out, and he did that show. So Dick Dale shows up, and he's got Fender amplifiers the size of refrigerators, which Leo Fender built for him way, way, way back in the 60s because he was playing at surf parties on the beach, and there's no sound containment on the beach, so he wanted to be loud. So he is blowing out the back wall in Art Spring in Salt Spring Island. And, it was, and he told the story before every song. I believe his son was with him who played drums and um, somebody else on bass. So it was just him, and his big song was... Da, 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 da. Mr. Lou, and it was a big hit way, way back when. And then John Travolta put it in with a John Travolta movie where he was a weird guy. He did this and it's it. a weird guy in all of his movies. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, um, you probably, um, anyways, and then so the next day on the ferry coming to Victoria, I look and there's Dick Dale on the ferry. And his manager comes over and knocks over my window and goes, Are you Randy back? And I said, Yeah. And so we had a talk and I talked to Dick Dale. He was a great guy. And he said, I just invented a Fender guitar and I'll send you one. And I thought okay. it would be a surf guitar. And he said, no, it's a little tiny acoustic. But you've got to get used to it because he's left-handed, but he plays right-handed. Really? Right, so he, I've got a left-handed one that he turned upside down. So this is the exact one he sent me, this Dick Dale surf guitar that's put out by Fender. And this has, he still has the original strings on it. The, the first one he sent me was black with all kind of weird surf decals, decals or decals on it, if you're American. And I said, this is kind of weird for me to play on stage. It looked like a thing from Beach, Bank, Beach Blanket Bingo with... Frankie and that Funicello. Frankie and that Funicello. <laughs> so I traded that back and got this beautiful red one. It's only one of a kind. And it says Dick Dale inside, and there's Dick Dale up there. And Tell's going to play it with this other contraption it, that's on his hand. And it has the reversed headstock. Which is a pain in the head. I'm well, being polite well, here. To tune, because these are upside down and turn the other well, way. you just get used to it. Well, I, 
Oh, it kind of makes the most sense, right? Because like on a piano, right? You, you know, the yeah. lo lower string has a longer scaling. But we're going to try to do this uh, Eric Clapton slide song from the 70s that was... We love this song. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. a hit. Um, and we don't know if... Was, but I'm using this dominoes? so I can get up that high. No, it was just one of his solo oh, albums, cool. I think. Okay, let's go. This is uh, Motherless Children. <laughs> yeah. Should we do that intro? Like... Da -da 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 -da. I don't even matter. know the intro. Oh, okay. Go well, ahead, the intro's like...
follow me through that thing. Okay, we're going to do this and then that. Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling, Coco? Good. <laughs> yeah? Tricky, yeah. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice you're just, following the train wreck here. Spontaneously <laughs> evolving. Song for BTO fans. I don't know how this is going to go. Hey, you, you say you want to change the world. It's all right. because we ended up with uh, we started out with uh, thank you oh that's right what what uh, key uh, third fret third, third fret we started out with what song did I start with um, oh the time of your life and so we hope you're having the time of your life and uh, here's the reason why Erica's going to sing this song with Tao which is very nice I might join in on the course yeah somewhere. join in yeah please now, I don't know how big of a hit this was in the United States, Yo. but this is an iconic song in the UK, and lots of people around the Commonwealth know it, too. I used to go to England every December and spend uh, all Christmas there, and obviously New Year's Eve, we had a beautiful flat on the top of a building, we were right across from the London Eye, so we would watch the fireworks on a, a Christmas Eve, which uh, New Year's Eve, sorry, which was really great. But uh, every December, this song, Mad World, by a guy named Gary Jules, very slow, not different, very different than the uh, mm -hmm. Tears for Fears one. This song would be number one song over and over, and everyone sings. It's kind of like the national anthem there in England. Everyone would sing it. So Tell and Eric are going to do it. Beautiful song. Feel the way that every child should 
sit and listen, sit and listen. Went to school and I was very nervous. No one knew me, no one knew me. Hello teacher, tell me what's my lesson. Look right through me, look right through me. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very mad world. I'm dying all the best I ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take When people run in circles It's a very, very That's our show for this week, from the time of your life to Mad World. Thanks We're for joining us. Here. Thanks for joining us. We Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you, Coco. Great singing. What are they supposed to go and push something they like or something? Subscribe and like. Yeah, something. Please something. like and click subscribe. Okay, thank you. Don't forget, it's a Mad World. Sounds so nice with the capo on. Yeah, and also the.